Hello everybody, Jekyll here, and I hope you enjoyed those little replays. So, yeah, this is a Mudge Spectre Wind Witch thingy. So let's go through everything. First we have the Dragoon package, nothing to explain here. We have the basic Wind Witch engine with triple bell, one glass, and one snow. Then we have our draw power cards with Magician of Prophecy, the blue boy. Spellbook of Knowledge for draw power and Spellbook of Secrets to facilitate the end of the Spellbook Engine. We also have Dorami Court Elegance. This is interesting for two reasons. Well, exactly for one, and that is the effect that allows us to draw two cards by placing two monsters from our Pendulum Zones in the extra deck. They, one has to have an even scale and the other has to have an odd scale, which the Magic Spectre fell in very nicely. And I really like it. When I look at it now, I guess I'm playing too many odd scales with scale 5, or I'm playing two QBs with scale 2, but whatever. It somehow worked. And then we're playing the rest of the Magic Spectre package with Cyclone, One Tornado, and Double Tempest, which is, in my humble opinion, the best Magic Spectre card. Seriously, a searchable counter trap is always very welcome. Next we have our hand trap package with Badge Blossom and Infinite Impermanence. For our extra deck we have Dragoon, because Dragoon, Crystal Wing and Winter Bell to well, finish up the Wind Witch engine. And next, pretty much every Link to Wind Link monster I could find. So, Great Fly, so we can recycle everything. Rubber Band Shooter, which is interesting, mostly due to the fact that I can normal summon an additional wind monster. So if I make it, I can just normal summon one of the Magic Spectres. Verthe Anaconda, because Dragoon, and Wind the Wind Charmer Verdant. This is interesting for two reasons. One is, of course, the getting on the opponent monster, but the other is that should it be destroyed, we can surge a wind monster. The deck is nothing but wind monsters. So we're basically getting a search out of this every time it leaves the field. And that's about it. What do you think about it? To be perfectly honest, I was a bit surprised of how well it performed. Anyway, Jacolo signing out. Peace!